Hi everyone, Joseph here. Today I'm teaching you lovely ones at home how to make your own buffered vitamin C solution. It's really, really simple to do guys and it's quite fun actually as well. So stay tuned for that one and I'll teach you guys at home how to make your own buffered vitamin C solution. Buffered vitamin C, beautiful ones, is great because it has a, a neutral pH, which means it's neither acidic nor alkaline. Therefore, it has the, the acid balance of water, acid alkaline balance, you should say, of water, which means that it's totally neutral and we can use it on all of our skins, including even the most sensitive skin. And this, this dock solution is going to be really important, guys, because later on, I'm going to be showing you beautiful ones at home how to make a vitamin C mask, which has both ascorbic acid in and sodium ascorbate or buffered vitamin c this is the one i bought sodium ascorbate i got this last year sometime however it's really really simple to make yourselves guys and really really cheap too buffered vitamin c is also known as sodium ascorbate and it is an excellent addition to our armament against aging it also provides pre free radical protection to the skin so it's almost like an invisible shield and best of all, because it's pH neutral, all skins can use this formula. We can make toners out of the stock solution. We can make serums. We can use it as the water stage in face creams. The list is endless, beautiful ones. In order to make this at home, you'll need, of course, l ascorbic acid vitamin C powder. Make sure it's pure l ascorbic acid, beautiful ones, and not just ascorbic acid, because that's a mixture of D and L, and half of that will be useless. And this is the neutralizing agent. Can you see that? Sodium bicarbonate or bicarbonate of soda, as it's also known. And what the two do is the vitamin C, because it's so acidic in the form in the aqueous solution, the second the bicarbonate of soda touches the vitamin C, there's a chemical reaction and the vitamin C is transformed into sodium ascorbate. It's neutralized, thus making it uh, perfect for our use in cosmetics. So without any further ado, Let's dive into the tutorial and we'll meet on the other side to discuss uses, benefits, so on and so forth. You will also need a stirring implement, a spoon or a glass rod or whatever you guys at home use and a jug and then a jam jar or something to keep your uh, aqueous solution of buffered vitamin C in. So without any further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. So this is how we make our buffered vitamin C solution, which we can use in all of our cosmetics. This is a non-irritating formula because it's pH neutral. Into my clean jug, I've got 200 mils of water. You'll need pure l ascorbic acid and bicarbonate of soda or sodium bicarbonate. They're exactly the same. Into the 200 mils of clean tap water, I'm going to add a tablespoon of vitamin C powder. That's pure l ascorbic vitamin C powder. Give that a quick stir. That's it. Right, that's it, lovely job. Now we're gonna add sodium bicarbonate to the vitamin C solution now. And what this will do is instantly, the minute these two touch each other in an aqueous or water solution, they neuter, the sodium bicarbonate neutralizes the vitamin C, making it pH neutral. So you can use, even sensitive skin can use this, guys. It's really, really, really gentle. It's got the pH of water. Can you see that fizzing away in there? That's the chemical reaction between the vitamin C and the sodium bicarbonate or bicarbonate of soda. And as I say, what the sodium bicarbonate is doing is it's neutralizing the vitamin C so that it's pH neutral, although it keeps all of its biological activities. It's still vitamin C, it's pure vitamin C. This is the only other form of vitamin C the skin will readily accept and be able to use. And if you keep doing, probably leave it five, ten minutes and the fizzing will stop. And that's how we make our vitamin, buffered vitamin C solution, beautiful ones. It's ideal for sensitive skin. Beautiful. So beautiful ones. That's how we make this a stock solution of sodium ascorbate or vit uh, buffered vitamin C, I should say. It's perfectly clear. It's... um. It looks like water, although it's certainly not water because of the, um, the vitamin C and the, bi the sodium bicarbonate in there. I've had a chemical reaction and the vitamin C, because it is, it's so acidic, it's possibly around two or three pH, two or three. The lower you go on the pH scale, the more acidic and the higher, the more alkaline. So 
Vitamin C sits around two or three in a, in a water solution, thus making it really acidic. Um, sodium, the addition of sodium bicarbonate to the formulation brings the whole up, up the scale to possibly around seven or eight, um, basically around the same pH as water, thus making it perfect for even sensitive skins, uh, or you can, that means also because it's so gentle, it can be used twice a day, every day. In a spray, it's ideal to put in a skin spray so that, you know, spritz it on in the morning, you have all day protection, spritz it on again in the evening, um, and it helps to help your skin concentrate on repair at night time because your skin's not fighting for your radicals or fighting off pollution whilst you sleep. It can focus mainly on repair and um, just making, making your skin look wonderful by morning. And of course, guys, you can make as much or as less as you want to, or as little as you want to, I should say. Today I made 200 mils and it's a 15% solution of vitamin, buffered vitamin C within the aqueous solution. But it's entirely up to you guys. I mean, make just enough for your serum or your toner. Um, it, it can also be used, as I said earlier, in the, the aqueous stage of cream making. It's a wonderful ingredient because it, it's a stabilized version of vitamin C. And also it is the only other version of vitamin C other than pure L-ascorpic acid that skin can recognize and use readily for collagen building, protection, free radical protection, so on and so forth. Um, and yeah, it's, it's an amazing ingredient because it, it, it is neutral, it's pH neutral, which means that any skin types can use it. So this afternoon or possibly tomorrow, I'm going to do the tutorial on the two forms of vitamin C face mask gel. It's gonna be a gel formulation. Um, and I'll be using the stock solution of uh, buffered vitamin C and, of course, regular L-ascorpic acid, which I'm going to stabilize with xylitol. And that's going to be a, a super lightweight gel formulation, which you can use once or twice a week to brighten the skin, uh, smooth, fine lines, so on and so forth. But it's really, really good to have an understanding of how you can make these ingredients um, and particularly sodium ascorbate because we'll be using it in a lot of our future recipes. If you guys at home want to see any particular old formulations which have been discontinued or recreated, that's another speciality of mine. Or any other skincare items, say there is a particular serum you want to see how to make or a cream or a lotion so, or an eye cream or a toner, so on and so forth please just let me know in the comments below. And that's it for today, beautiful ones. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, this one or this one, who knows. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, lots of love. Take care.